Hi, this week on Emerging Ed Tech, we're taking a look at Vokey.com, a free website that makes it real easy to create your own speaking avatars. So let's go ahead and take a look at how quick and easy it is to create your own speaking avatar with Vokey. So to get started with Vokey, I simply uh, popped over to Vokey.com and then clicked on this register button here. So that'll pop up a little register form here where you provide an email address, a password, answer a few questions. Then they'll email you a confirmation link. You confirm, come back in, log in, and that will take you to this screen where you're going to start by clicking on option number one here to create a Vokey. On this screen now, you will get options to customize your character, give it a voice, create backgrounds, and so on. I'm going to start by clicking on this button here to customize my characters, and that gives me pictures of different people I might want to use for my character. If you click on these little scroll options here, you'll see it'll bring up these different buttons where you can choose different types of characters you might want to choose from. So here I'm going to check the tune selection and go ahead and pick somebody from that particular uh, cho set of choices. And now down here we get the ability to change the mouth, the nose, the body, the height, the width. So let's see if I um, mess with mouth here. I get a, a wider or a more narrow mouth. Uh, similarly, I get a wider or more narrow nose. Um, let's see what happens here if I change the body. Same thing, wider or more narrow. Um, pop on over to color here and it looks like we can mess with the color of various options so if I click on hair here I can go for a uh, uh, slightly different type of hair color um, so those are some of the options you have to build out your character and when you click on done and come back out here you can choose from uh, different types of hairstyles and different types of uh, looks to the mouth uh, as well as coming out to clothing and making modifications to that and even throwing a little bling on there if you want. So all kinds of options. I did go ahead and uh, change the hairstyle and mouth style a little bit on my avatar and now I'm done. So I'm going to click done and then I'm going to work on giving it a voice. I'm going to be using the microphone to record the voice. Uh, there's also other options as you can see over here, you can add your own voice via phone, microphone, text-to-speech, or uploading a file. So I'm going to click on microphone here. And I've got some Adobe Flash settings to allow. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and record. Hi, this is my Vokey character. Save that. So you can see that it um, takes the uh, speech and goes ahead and tries to create some um, motions for the lips that correspond to the way the character is speaking. Now I went and experimented with backgrounds. Let me show you how that works. So if you just click on backgrounds, you get a bunch of options here and you can scroll back and forth much like you did with characters and try different things. Uh, for example, these Animated options are kind of interesting, so you get some motion going behind there. Uh, I had gone over to, hmm, this is interesting, I wonder what's under Obscure. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's a, a definitely an unusual background. Uh, I had come over to Indoors, was thinking about perhaps something kind of education oriented, and there we go, so that'll work. All right, so let's go ahead and get a look at what uh, is involved in publishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Publish. I've got an initial scene here. I'm going to call that, um, let's call it hello. Save that and see what happens here. My scene has been saved and now I get some options that are going to allow me to figure out what I want to do with it. So I've got this add to a site capability where I can embed something some into a website. Uh, and then I've also got these send to a friend options, which look like they let me uh, email. And um, also a bunch of options here to post things. So if I click on the Facebook icon, uh, it comes up 
and it looks like it's going to go ahead and let me share out on Facebook the new Voki I just created. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cancel it out here. But um, these are great. These are all the different kinds of options I think I might want to have. So I was curious to know about editing this avatar, if I wanted to change what it was saying, or um, perhaps have multiple scenes together for the avatar. Uh, it was easy enough to click edit and then um, be able to go over and re-record what was said in this particular scene. I just clicked on the microphone, re-recorded, hit done, and that was it. Uh, so that was real easy, and uh, that's how I came up with this easily modified version. Hi, I'm a bulky avatar. Watch the video to see how easy it was to create me. Now, that was probably real hard to hear here because it was... Uh, the microphone's just picking up the playback, but you can hear it better on the site. Uh, what was not very evident to me was how I could copy this avatar and then add additional uh, phrases so that I could have multiple together. It was really easy to create another avatar and say other things, and uh, that looks like it's very easy to create multiple avatars. And obviously I could try and recreate the same avatar with the same basic look and feel, but a copy function would be nice. That'll wrap up our look at Voki. We hope you find it a fun, easy website to use, and we'll see you again soon.